Hello friends, welcome to yet another brand new video. Micro Dreams from S F Adinar, and in today's video, we will be looking at the review of match number 27 of Tata IPL 23 that was between Royal Challengers Bangalore and Punjab Kings. So both these teams, you know, are coming into this fixture of uh, of this tournament in contrasting manners. If you're looking at Royal Challengers Bangalore, led by the South African international cricketer Faf Duplessy, they are coming into this game after a tough defeat at the hands of C S K in their own stadium, uh, M Chinnaswamy. stadium and uh, you know uh, they chased a heavy total of 226 but and they were also throughout the chase they were in there in the game in the second last over of the game but unfortunately you know one thing about rcb is that they always crumble at the later stages of a game and uh, almost every time they ensure that they lose the game at a winning st- at a winning stage or at a winning situation so chasing 226 which is of course tough even if you are playing at the m chinnaswamy stadium they only managed to score like 216 215 and they lost the game by 8 or 10 runs at the end even when faf duplessy their captain and magna and uh, you know uh, glen maxwell managed to s- score like 50 60 70 runs and uh, they would be itching to win this game against the pbks which they eventually did by 24 runs and if you're looking at pbks they are coming into this game after a tough hard fight win against uh, lucknow super giants and lucknow super giants only scored 159 in their allotted 20 overs and punjab kings managed to cross that target in the last over with two wickets in hand so you know even if pbks won their last fixture this is a very crucial fixture as from now on especially rcb pbks mi srh their next two three fixtures are extremely crucial and made aside Uh, their faith in this season as well so both these teams would be gearing up to win the game and uh, as i said before rcb won the game this is a review not a preview and rcb won the game against pbks by 24 runs so now before going to the uh, analysis and statistics of this video we will we will be looking at the updated points table after the match 27 between RCB and PBKS so if you're looking at the updated points table RR continues to cling on their first top position even after a defeat against the number 2 ranked team LSG thanks to their heavy net run rate of positive 1043 second is LSG third is CSK fourth is GT fifth is RCB after their recent win against PBKS sixth is um, MI 7th is PBKS 8th is KKR 9th is SRH and 10th is DC which is yet to win a game so an interesting thing which we may notice here is the fact that the teams that are ranked 3 4 5 6 7 in the points table that is CSK GT RCB MI and PBKS respectively are actually on level in points with 6 points but the factor the deciding factor was the net run rate CSK which is the third best ranked team in the points table is having a very good net run rate of positive 265 whereas the fourth ranked team GT is having a positive 192 RCB is having a negative 68 MI is having a negative 164 and the seventh ranked team PBKS is almost having a negative net run rate of 300 the eighth ranked team kkr an interesting thing here is that even though kkr is having a very positive net run rate of 320 they are still at eighth position lagging at the bottom half of the table and this the main reason is that uh, the only reason is that uh, out of the five games they have played they only managed to win two games that is they only managed to get four points that is the reason why they are at eighth position number 9 is srh which is having a disappointing net run rate of almost minus 800 and uh, dc is having an almost uh, my negative net run rate of 1500 which is like almost insane uh, to be exact DC is having a net run rate of minus 100 uh, sorry 1488 so now we can get on to this video as we now manage to know the updated points table now if you're looking at the venue of the uh, stadium a uh, PBKS Punjab Kings are the host 
as the match is being held in the IS Bindra Cricket Stadium that is in Mohali. So PBKS managed to win the toss and chose to bowl as they were ready to chase down the target that was being offered by RCB. Now without any further ado, we can just get on to the scorecard of both these teams. Royal Challengers Bangalore batting first. Their uh, team was v- Virat Kohli, uh, Faf Duplessis, Glenn Maxwell, Dinesh Karthik, Lomaror, Shabas Ahmed, Suryash Prabhadesai, Harshal Patel, Vaindu Hazranga, Vain Banal and Mohamed Siraj. So here the change was that Vaishak Vijay Kumar was out and uh, uh, in, in place was Suryash Prabhadesai who had a pretty good a decent uh, outing against the CSK and however uh, Vaishak Vijay Kumar, Vivi Kumar uh, came in the later stages of the game as an impact player as the skipper Faf Duplessy was substituted out after the batting innings of RCB was over. Now as we now know the 11 of RCB we can get into the 11 of P- Punjab Kings and uh, uh, Punjab Kings is suffering from some injury issues as the skipper consistent Mr. Consistent uh, player for PBKS, Shigar Dhawan, was uh, ruled out of the fixture due to an injury he is currently nursing. Liam Livingston also had some in- injury issues at the initial stages but has fortunately for PBKS management recovered in time and is all set to play the game against uh, RCB which unfortunately he had a disappointing outing which you will know and uh, now deeper into this video so the 11 of pbks was adarva taide who came in uh, replaced meant for uh, shigar zavan and pravishmaran singh was the impact player matthew short was at number three number four was livingston number five was harpreet singh number six was sam kuran number and sam kuran was the Captain in charge for Shigar Zavan. Number 7 was the wicket keeper batsman Jitesh Sharma. Number 8 the hard hitter Shahrukh Khan. Number 9 Harpreet Bar. Number uh, 10 Nathan Ellis. And number 11 Ashdeep Singh. So now we can get on to the uh, match commentary match summary. You know RCB batted first and the way they went on to the uh, for business uh, we almost everyone thought that they would be ending up with at least 190 or about 200 in the board scoreboard but at the end they were a bit disappointed as they were restricted even below 180. They only managed 174 for the lowest of 4 wickets in 20 overs. So that meant that uh, at a stage where RCB were 130 for the lowest of 0 wickets in 15 overs they only scored uh, like 44 runs in the remaining 5 overs and uh, uh, and even Glenn Maxwell was out for a golden duck so this says that RCB is almost heavily dependent on their top 3 to fire and the middle order even though is promising they need to be consistent and at the end thanks to innings from Virat Kohli 59 of 47 deliveries at a strike rate of 126 and uh, Faf Duplessis who was substituted out after the batting innings was over 84 runs of 56 uh, balls Glenn Maxwell was uh, like uh, caught golden ball uh, golden duck sorry and uh, except Virat Kohli and Faf Duplessis almost no one played uh, Dinesh Karthik, Michael Lamro, Shaba Samad all tried to play properly, tried to be aggressive but none just worked out. So, courtesy of Virat Kohli and Fab Duplessis, they managed to score 174 at the end. Which they initially they thought that they were like 20-25 runs short uh, of their planned target. But after the end of the game, they were actually 20-25 runs above of what P- PBK- PBKS managed to muster at the end and in response to the target that was posted by RCB PBKS batting performance was disappointing except some bright spots from uh, like, you know uh, Pravish Miran Singh who is having a very good impact uh, in this season and uh, the Jitesh Sharma who almost pulled a victory from the jaws of defeat. So we will get more deeper into this. Adarva Thayde looked good for his two ball four. He managed to get the first ball of the batting innings of PB games for a boundary against Mohamed Siraj. But the very next ball he was caught leg before wicket by Mohamed Siraj. And uh, wickets continued 
she regularly for uh, fall for pbks in fact in the power play itself four wickets fell and uh, they were like in, after the power play was over they were like 40 42 for the loss of four wickets with prabhas maran singh and sam kuren at the crease many players started well but they were all like gone harpreet singh was run out sam kuren was run out courtesy of brilliance of fielding by mohammed siraj and vaind wasranga respectively Sha- uh, shahrukh khan looked good he even smacked a six as well but again he was stumped by dinesh karthik and you know one thing that we need to say here is that rcb's bowling attack was rcb's fielding was also good and rcb's bowling attack is again likely to come good as well and uh, one thing we need to Uh, take uh, take from here is the fact that rcb is fielding is uh, very disciplined very good their run out run outs were absolutely exceptional to say the least and uh, prabhas maran singh scored a fighting 46 jitesh sharma scored 41 of just 27 balls but except these two players almost no one contributed and that was the final nail when jitesh sharma fell that was the final nail in the coffin for pbks as he was the last batsman to go so at the end pbks uh, uh, you know in the challenge of scoring 174 only managed to muster of 150 so it was a bit bad uh, poor display of batting performance from pbks which i hope that they would improve in their next fixture against the mumbai indians whereas rcb's next fixture would be the mouth watering contest between royal challengers bangalore and rajasthan royals so stay tuned and kindly subscribe the video channel thank you and have a very nice day